Okay, good afternoon. I'm going to be respectful of your time. I know it's uh, late in the day and you've got so much information to absorb after uh, attending all of the great tracks and, uh, of the workshop. My name is Bernie Sabo. I'm with Raytheon Professional Services and I'm the, uh, probably the next to the last presentation between Bernie and Bourbon Street, okay? So this will be your, uh, you'll hear the chimes here in a moment. Um, from Raytheon Professional Services, I'm going to talk a little bit about how we've used Raytheon Six Sigma in healthcare, and uh, many of you probably know Raytheon as a defense contractor, and they are indeed. And I'll give you a little uh, background on how we actually got into uh, training, and it's been a long history actually in training. Um, I have 20 years of Lean Six Sigma expertise. I'm a master black belt at Raytheon. We call ourselves experts, master experts. I uh, have a manufacturing operations background, uh, and I really enjoy you know, looking at processes. In 2003, I was invited out of manufacturing up into the corporate offices to head up the Raytheon Six Sigma Institute. So I was the corporate leader for the design, development, and the training of, of experts and black belts within our company. Um, that was really my first immersion into training, this, the science of training, adult learning theory, and so forth. And I became very uh, intrigued with that. Uh, most of the problems and projects I've worked on over the years in Raytheon and with our customers have been based on product design, engineering issues, and the like. Um, what I found out is it's actually pretty easy to go into a blueprint or a schematic or even a financial balance sheet and start to problem solve. Uh, what I really discovered, it was the human element, it was the human decision making and human behaviors around making change that were really uh, primary focus. So more recently, I've, in, I've gone back to school and studying now industrial organizational psychology to see, understand how leading change with Six Sigma can really make a difference. Today, I'm joined with a couple of my colleagues, Mark, Mark Feltz and Brian Chance are here. If you have a chance to visit with them later on this afternoon at the reception, that would be great. Today, we're going to talk about speed to, per, speed to proficiency, really looking about what competencies are required in the healthcare environment and how do we use Six Sigma to identify learning effectiveness. Many of the medical errors and the defects and the things you were talking about throughout the entire day, if you think about the causes, the root causes around it, many of it comes from uh, procedural errors or learning uh, missteps and so forth. So um, we can use the same principles of Lean and Six Sigma to diagnose those areas. So I'll talk a little bit about that, explain Raytheon Six Sigma briefly, uh, and then I'll give you a case study, an example of where we actually immerse ourselves into a, a large hospital system, um, put on the scrubs, and, and really uh, map the entire process. There'll be time for maybe some questions at the end. So Raytheon, when you think of Raytheon, a lot of people think of defense contracting. As, as I mentioned earlier, we've been around the organization, or the, the company's been around for about 90 years, leading in technology, some of the greatest uh, data fusion and bringing together capabilities uh, have really helped our, our keep our America safe. I know for sure we've uh, we've helped with homeland security and our defense. Uh, we have over 70,000 employees worldwide, um, and uh, we pride ourselves on on our global reach. Within Raytheon, there's six businesses. One of those businesses is Raytheon Technical Services, which our group belongs to. And in that area, they focus on high consequence, critical mission, critical training. Uh, so those areas, the skills and competencies are associated with it is what our organization brings to the, uh, brings as a value. We, we're probably the largest training organization in the world uh, when it comes to that. We've trained every single um, U.S. Army so, uh, man and, uh, woman and soldier, a serviceman, every astronaut that's gone into space, uh, and uh, all the air traffic controllers were responsible for tra uh, training. Uh, so there's a, a, a broad reach there. Within this group, Raytheon Professional Services is the only commercial entity within that group, and there's only about 1,000 of us, and half of us work overseas. We're deployed, there are foreign national folks who live in country, we're in 95 different countries, and we translate learning into 27 different languages. Um, so we have some really great best practices around learning effectiveness. So when it comes to mission critical, when lives are in the balance, uh, Raytheon uh, training and Raytheon Six Sigma is there. So let me describe a little bit about Raytheon Six Sigma. Our evolution was started in 1998-99 uh, when they rolled out um, Raytheon Six Sigma, which really is an umbrella of the tools, the lean tools, the Six Sigma tools, but really separated us from uh, a lot of the standards where uh, we embrace this cultural aspect that uh, Dr. Gerard talked about this morning, the importance of organizational culture 
uh, the importance of really mapping that and understanding that and getting leadership engagement. Uh, focused all on the customer, so specifying value in the eyes of the customer is our, our basis. And it's more than just tools. It really is, uh, again, the behavioral and the organizational bit. Our, our CEO says he wants Raytheon Six Sigma to be part of our DNA. And to that point, we've trained, of those 70,000 people, um, probably about 65% of them are trained and um, we're working towards getting up to 90% trained and qualified in project-based specialist training. They're not black belts, they're not green belts, they're a two-day course on specialists, which is uh, pretty remarkable because you go from country to country and I may have language barriers, but we can talk through the process and I can know specifically where uh, the folks are in the process of Six Sigma, Raytheon Six Sigma. Our process is described here in this six-step model. It may look familiar to many other models. Before I worked at Raytheon, I was at Allied Signal, which is now Honeywell. They had a nine-step process for uh, Lean. Um, they had a different process, the MAIC model for uh, Six Sigma. We use uh, very specifically these steps. Visualize is the first one is where we start, and that really is important for any project to have a strong shared vision. Not just one person saying, let's go fix something. It's getting the collective to really understand the problem, clearly articulate it, and the vision and go in that direction. The element about commitment is the next step, and that's getting the leadership engagement, the team's commitment, but most importantly, your own personal commitment. If I don't believe in what I'm about to go do, there's no way I'm going to affect change with the rest of the organization. So it's a personal